Okay, we're going to take a look at the last method of our series of three string methods, and we're going to go through the substring method. Uh, so here uh, is an example. So let's say we have a string. The name is cereal, and the value of it is Wheaties. The substring method is going to use the uh, the positions. So that's why we put a type of zero up here. Those zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so it's written like the other methods have been, where you have the variable dot method, in this case substring, and then you have the set of parentheses. In this case, we do we're going to have a parameters is what we call them inside the parentheses. So it's variable, the variable name dot substring, uh, and then the parameters within the parentheses, but this is saying that we're looking for a substring uh, using the two parameters uh, within the uh, value of the variable serial. In this case, it's going to return eat. Well, how does it do that? It returns, first of all, a substring returns a particular substring, or it uses a group of characters that are part of a an entire string, or literal string. Eat is a substring of the string Wheaties. And so uh, here's how this works. The first parameter is the position of the first character of the substring. The first parameter, which in this case is 2, is the position of the first character of the substring. And so we look at 2, and we see that E is in the position 2, so the first character of the substring is E. The next thing is the second parameter, which is, of course, 5. It'd be nice if it was just that it would be the second position, or the position of the second of the last letter or character, but it isn't. It's one more than the position of the last character of the substring. So this 5, it said it's one more than the position of the last character. If it's one more, then the last character must be at 4. So in all actuality, we're going from 2 to 4. So we're going from 2 to 4. So we're going from E to T. And so this is one way to remember that it's not that the last or the second parameter does not mean the position of the last letter or character. It's one more. So what you do is you put the two, and then you subtract one from the last character or from the last parameter, and you get four. So if the, if it was substring three uh, eight, then you would could write underneath it. It's going to go. It's actually going to go from three to seven, and that'd be one way to do it. Now there is another secret to this: is that if you if you subtract the first parameter from the second, it tells you how many characters should be in the sub substring. So if we go five minus two we get 3, which is exactly how many characters. So in this case, if we went 3 minus 8, we'd get 5. That means there would be 5 characters. So that's another way you can do it. And what you would do then, in this case, you would say, um, well, as an example, let's say that instead of 2, 5, let's say we did um, 4, Six. All right, so we would go, okay, the first letter or the first character is in position four, which is a T, so we'd write a T. And then we go six minus four is two, so I only want two characters. So I'm going to go T and then I and then stop because that's the end. Um, that's two characters. Now you'll notice that the other way we said to do it was to go 4 and then subtract 1 from here. It's 
going to be in the position 4 and 5. So that would be again T and I. So that's a couple ways to do it. Alright, so let's go to another example. Uh, this brings up another issue. If you go serial.substring 3, it returns A T I E S. So you'll notice, of course, 3 is the position of the first letter. And then notice then that it goes all the way to the end. And that's really the secret here is that it's going to do that. So using a single parameter means the substring goes from that position to the end of the string. And so that will be something to remember. All right, so here um, this is a problem that you should do. And so uh, this is what we're doing for homework in this particular day. Uh, so anyways, so you should pause the video, do this, and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the answers. Okay, so hopefully you've done this already. And so we'll look at this. As you can see, I put the numbers up here, the position numbers, which is something really is good to do because then that way you don't have to keep counting a lot easier to work with. So I uh, have those numbers starting with 0. We have uh, two variables. We have four variables, uh, actually two that are ints and uh, two that are strings. So the company dot substring, we're going to go from 1 to 4 is where we're going to go. Or we could say there's 5 minus 1, there's four characters in here. We're going to start with 1. So we're going to go to the company variable and one is L and then it has four characters or it's going to go um, from one to four which is going to take you from here to here so leap alright so that's number one substring company dot substring eight means it's going to start at eight and it's go is going to go all the way to the end. So Erica, single parameter means start at that position, and then go all the way to the end of the string. The second one, third one, six to eleven. It's going to go. Uh, we're going to be using owner this time. So we're going to go from A to not I because that's one past it so we're going to go to 10 so we're going to really go from 6 to 10 or another way to look at it there's going to be five characters so we have one two three four five characters so a k s t e the next one num1 uh, we're going to again. We're going to do owner, and the first parameter is actually a variable. Uh, the value of it, the value is five. The value of two, num two is eight, and then you add three, so it's going to be eleven. So we're really going to go. Um, we're going to do. So we're going to be owner substring five eleven. So what you make it so it looks like the the ones up here. So uh, 5 to 11, so really we're going to go from 5 to 10. So 5 is capital L, and then we're going to go to 10 because we've got to go to 1 less, so that's going to go to the E. So lake or lack S T E. And so there should be six characters, and I only have five. And we want to go to 10, which is going to include the E. There we go. The next one, we're going to go back to company. Owner.index of R is going to be is the first parameter. Well, owner.index R means we're going to find the, the first R in the variable owner and that happens to be right here and that position is 2 
So remember, these the index of returns an int. And so that int is 2. So that actually takes the place of this. And num1 is 5. So that takes the place of this. So we're going to now it looks like these problems up here. So we're going to go from 2 to, two to 4, not 2 to 5. We're going to go to 2 to 4 in the company substring or uh, variable. So go to company. We're going to go from 2 to 4. So we're going to go EEP. All right, the next one. We are going to find the position of some substring in the owner variable. And so what is going to happen in here is in this parameter, we are going to find a substring. The substring has got to be in the company variable. And it's going to go from position 2 to 8. Oh, sorry. Num2 is 8. Num2 is 8. So we're actually going to replace that. Uh, let me do this. OK, so let's go back to that. And this is what we want to do. We're going to say num2 is 8. So it's going to be 8 comma 9. So if you go 9 minus 8, that means 1. That means we only have one character. It's going to be the character at 8. So again, we're getting the character at company and company number 8. And that would be the E. So this really is saying index of. And we're going to replace this with E. All right, so it's owner.index of e. Well, in what position is the e in in owner? So we go to owner, we find the first e, and that is in this position right here, and that would be 10. All right, the last one is uh, we're going to find a substring. The first position is whatever num1 is. That's just 5. So that replaces that. Oh, but we have 5 plus 2. So we have an addition problem. And so it's actually going to do that. And it's going to call it 7. So it's going to be the owner.substring 7. Well, 7 is the starting position. It's the only parameter. So it's going to start at 7 and go to the end. So for owner, we're going to start at 7, which is right here, and go all the way to the end. So it's going to be K, S, T, E, I, N. And that is it.